Tyler Redmond here with TylerRedmond.com. I appreciate all of you for being on here. I uh, just doing a little work at the house. Uh, was going through some some blog post topics. Was going through some live stream topics, and I saw a uh, problem that a lot of network marketers go through. And I wanted to be able to go through that with you. So we'll wait a little bit, let people hop on. Arthur Phillip, welcome on, sir. Appreciate you for being here. Today we're going to talk about the problem of your upline or your sponsor quitting, uh, or maybe somebody in your team is having that issue and they have no leadership. Today we're going to talk about how exactly to handle that issue. So you know what to do if you think you might get some value. Make sure you share it out to somebody that you know. Be tapping those hearts. And if you'll hit this button right here, this will give you the opportunity to follow me or to share it out to Twitter. If you guys didn't know, if you're trying to build your audience, when you share Periscopes out to Twitter, uh, as long as you have the same target market that I do or the person that you're sharing their content, uh, you'll be able to get lots of followers on Twitter. That's right. That's right, Arthur. Excellent. Good point. Yeah, we'll definitely get into that. You know, Arthur, I've found uh, on live streams, it's definitely about the title. Um, you know, on Facebook, on Periscope, if you put an interesting title, people are, are more apt to jump in and participate live with you. So I appreciate you being here. Um, you know, also, if you guys wouldn't mind, if you'll just tap the hearts, I'm trying to hit the 100,000 mark here pretty soon. So that would be appreciative if you indeed get some value. Welcome on, Keller. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you for those hearts. Make sure you share this out to somebody that you know. Okay, so I think it's been enough time. Let's get into the topic. Oh, Arthur, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Chef Angelos, welcome on. Welcome to our conversation here. I hope you get value out of what we talk about. So have you ever heard while building your network marketing business my uplines quit. My sponsors quit. I have no leadership. Nobody to guide me. Nobody to tell me what to do. Nobody to coach me. Nobody to make little tweaks in my business for me. What do I do? I'm not going to be able to be successful unless I have a boss type figure that I can answer to. What do I do? Have you ever seen anybody complaining about something like that? Maybe somebody on your team has complained about that before. Well, Today, we're going to put the kibosh on all the complaining in regards to your leadership. The first key to that, or the first statement that I have to those types of complainings, when my team complains to me about that, I mean, I, I'm active. I'm a leader in my team, so they shouldn't be coming to me with that concern. But if I ever hear that, if I ever hear anybody in our industry talk about that or complain about that, I just want to like grab them by the throat, just shake them and be like, look, stop waiting for someone to lead you to take action in your business. That's ridiculous. You be your own leader. You don't have to have somebody showing you the way. You don't have to have somebody telling you what to do. This isn't a paycheck job. Lead yourself. Take some initiative. You're in business for yourself. So, do what you need to do to create success. Now, you may be like me when I first started in this industry. I thought, you know, I'm, I'm not a leader. I'm, I'm definitely a follower. I do what other people tell me to do. I'm a great employee, but I'm not a great boss. But as you're working your network marketing business, the best part about this business is the person you can become as you're building it. And so one of the things that I really honed in on uh, in regards to my personal development, number one was my public speaking abilities, and number two was my leadership qualities. I developed those, I honed those in, and now I can lead myself. Early on, I relied on other people to lead me, but now I can lead myself. So the note that of encouragement in that statement is that even if you don't have the leadership qualities now, they can be developed. All you have to do is want it and work at it. You see, in network marketing, we're in the leader-producing business. And so if you're not leading, you can't produce leaders. And if you don't produce leaders in multi-level marketing or direct sales, you're not going to generate any kind of income. You have to drive depth in this industry in order to create substantial residual income. If you're going out there trying to gather all the customers yourselves, you're not going to be able to 
build anything of substance. And so we're in the leader producing business, but you have to be able to lead in order to produce leaders. You may have heard the quote uh, said before, if you're heading in a direction as a leader and nobody is following you, then you're literally just on a walk. And that doesn't do anybody any good. So develop those leadership qualities so what you can lead yourself and then in turn, in your business, you can produce leaders and you can actually lead them in the direction that will help you and will help your business and your team's business. Because people in this industry, just people in general, are going to do what you do, not what you say. So do you want to create an atmosphere of duplication of good habits or of bad habits? Of leader crushing habits or leader producing habits? That's what you want, the culture that you want to develop in your team. So stop freaking complaining about having no leadership, no upline, no active sponsor to lead you through building this business. Lead your stinking self. As Philip says, go for no and lead yourself. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's super simple. Like every concept we talk about on my live stream trainings, it's a very, very simple thing to do, but that doesn't make it easy. Because that means you actually have to go out there and do something. You know, one of the leaders in my business says, yeah, I got great potential. But potential just means that I got to do something first. You haven't done anything. Potential means you have to do something first. So as you build your business, guys, be your own leader so that you can create leaders in your business and that you can be a person for people to follow. That's all I got for you today, guys. Make sure, whoop, share it out to Twitter. Drop those hearts if you got some value. Just do a little double tap, just super rapid tap. And then um, also, if you'd like a free gift on the seven deadly sins of network marketing and how to avoid them, get my free resource guide at tylerredmond.com forward slash seven sins. I appreciate you guys for being here. I'm on live stream literally every day. So make sure you follow me and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the next Periscope broadcast training. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a great hump day. Bye.